Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to set up HTTP Injector for HTTP proxy settings. If you've been looking for a way to browse faster, stay secure online, and access restricted content safely, this tutorial is exactly what you need. By the end of this video, you'll not only have HTTP Injector working perfectly on your device, but you'll also understand how each setting contributes to a faster and more private connection. All right, let's begin with the basics. The first thing we need is the HTTP Injector app itself. So, open the Google Play Store on your Android device. Once it's open, tap on the search bar at the top and type in HTTP Injector. You'll see a few different results, but make sure you choose the one that's simply called HTTP Injector, not the light version. The main version offers more features and better performance. Tap on it, then press the Install button. The download might take a few seconds, depending on your internet speed. Once it's finished, the Open button will appear. Tap it, and you'll be taken directly into the HTTP Injector home screen. Now that the app is installed, it's time to create a working SSH server that will connect through the app. This is where we generate our secure connection credentials. To do that, open your browser. You can use Chrome, Firefox, or any other browser of your choice. In the search bar, type TCPVPN and press Enter. This will show a list of results, but make sure to select the official TCPVPN website. You can easily recognize it by its clean design and the link to tcpvpn.com domain. Once you're on the tcpvpn homepage, you'll notice a menu icon or navigation bar at the top. Tap on it to expand the options, and you'll see different categories like SSH, OpenVPN, and WireGuard servers. For our setup, we'll be using the SSH server. Tap on SSH server, and this will take you to a page listing various regions, such as the United States, Europe, Asia, and others. Choosing a nearby region usually gives you better speed and lower ping, so pick the one closest to your country. For example, if you're in Asia, select an Asian server. After selecting your region, you'll see a list of available servers with their uptime and capacity information. Tap on one that's not overloaded. You'll then be redirected to an account creation page. Here, you'll need to enter a username and password of your choice. Make sure to remember them. We'll need them later in the HTTP Injector app. Then, check the reCAPTCHA box to confirm you're not a robot and tap Create Account. Wait a few seconds, and your SSH account will be generated. You'll now see important details such as your hostname, server IP, username, and password. Copy or note them carefully. Now let's switch back to the HTTP Injector app. You should be on the main screen, where you'll see a few icons and options. Tap on the small downward arrow beside the payload field to open the configuration panel. Here, we're going to set our protocol and proxy type. From the drop-down, choose HTTP for both protocol and proxy. Once you've, once you've selected these, tap Save to confirm. Next, we need to enter our proxy settings. Tap on the pencil icon that appears beside the proxy option. A new window will open where you can enter your proxy hostname and port number. These details usually come from the SSH server you created earlier or the HTTP proxy you're using. After entering those values, also input your SSH username and password, then tap Save. This step connects your app configuration with your secure SSH credential. Now it's time to configure the SSH settings directly. Tap on the gear icon at the top of the screen, or open the side menu by tapping the three horizontal lines, also known as the hamburger icon. From the menu, select SSH settings. You'll see fields like SSH host, port, username, and password. Fill in these using the details from your TCP VPN account. Double check that there are no typos, because even a small mistake here can prevent your connection from working.
Once everything looks correct, tap Save to store your SSH configuration. Now we're ready for the exciting part, connecting the VPN. Go back to the main home screen of HTTP Injector. At the bottom, you'll see a large Start button. Tap it to initiate the connection. You'll notice a log panel start updating with different status messages. This area shows you what's happening behind the scenes, whether the app is connecting, authenticating your SSH credentials, or already connected. If everything is set up correctly, after a few seconds, you'll see a message indicating connected or VPN connected successfully. To make sure everything's working properly, let's verify the IP change. Open the side menu once again and select Check IP. The app will open a quick web page showing your new IP address and location. If you see a new IP or a different country from your actual location, congratulations, your HTTP injector VPN setup is successful. You now have a secure, encrypted connection that hides your real IP and improves browsing stability. If the connection fails, don't worry. Check your SSH credentials, make sure your internet is stable, and verify that your proxy type and protocol are both set to HTTP. Most connection issues come from small typos or expired SSH servers. You can always create a new server from TCP VPN if needed. And that's it. You've successfully learned how to set up HTTP Injector using HTTP Proxy and SSH Server for a fast, private, and secure browsing experience. This setup not only protects your data, but can also help you access restricted websites or services safely. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials just like this one. I'll be posting more guides on VPN setups, secure browsing, and tech tips to make your online experience safer and smarter. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.